Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, I'm not a financial planner. This isn't financial advice. These are just transactions I do in my account and you can just learn by watching. Okay, uh, in today's video, what I wanted to do, um, I'm actually selling options currently. So I have a lot of the account uh, tied up, you know, selling those options. So what I wanted to do, I have about 400 bucks here that I can use. And what I wanted to do is maximize that. And so I'm looking at the S&P 500 index and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at and my setup here and um, how I'm going to buy a call option and hopefully over the next three weeks make a, a, a nice profit on it. So what I'm going to do here is just show you a chart. Um, and this is my um, basically long call in option strat. And if I just click on build, I'm going to show you kind of from scratch how I did this. Um, I just go ahead and hit long call. And what I decided to do was um, go out past the FOMC meeting. The Fed is going to be meeting and uh, potentially raising rates on Wednesday uh, the 2nd of November, if you didn't know that. And so what I wanted to do, I wanted to buy a long call out past that to about the 18th of November. So my second thing I wanted to show you is how I know where I want to set this at. Um, you know, what, what strike price do I want to set this at currently? So if I go into my chart, um, this is on TradingView, and this is looking at a weekly chart on the SPX. So what I'm looking at here, we're sitting at about 390, and this is giving me a buy signal currently. So this is a weekly uh, candle and if you look at some of the other weekly candles, like back here in July, it was showing a buy signal. And we got about three weeks of upward movement um, up near this uh, blue line right here. So what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at this buy signal on this candle. And regardless what happens, I mean, who knows what Jay Powell's going to say on Wednesday. And the market could go up, the market could go down. But I believe, based on uh, technicals, that looking at this candle, it may go up, may go down. But I believe over the next three weeks, this is going to go up and it's going to get close to this blue line here. So that would be up around 420. Now, that may, may seem crazy. Maybe it'll only go to 410. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy... A strike price at about 405 okay so I'm going to show you why I'm going to do that for one that's all the money I have to spend on this so if I hit trade spy options and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on buy call and I'm going to hit November 18th so I'm going to go out to the 18th and if you look here, we're sitting at 390. So if I go up here to this 405 here, this is at $3.72. Remember, one contract is 100 shares. So that would be $372 for this 405 um, call option. So this is the one I'm going to select. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And so this would be my strike price, 405 on this call. It's going to cost me $372. That's the max I can lose on this trade. And I get to hold this all the way through November 18th. So if I want to go now and look back at option strat, I can, you know, click here November 18th and I can pull this to 405. So you can see I'm setting my strike price to 405 to simulate this long call option. So you can see that in the FOMC meeting on the 2nd, 
if the market rallies, if if he mentions anything about a pause or or any any sort of type of pivot, which I don't believe they're going to say pivot, but there may be some softness in the way he's talking, um, and and possibly people could relate it to a pause. If that's the case, and the market rallies, and this thing goes up here, you can see you know how much profit you can make. I mean, even if it goes to four ten, that's seven hundred ninety four dollars here on the second could go all the way to 986 if it pushes up through that to around 413. I don't know how far it's going to go up, but um, I'm looking at a nice profit potential there. Now, here's the thing. If he talks tough and says there's going to be no pivot, no pause, they're doing 75 basis points, they're going to keep hiking, then you could possibly see the market fall. And again, you know, let's just say it drops here back down to say 370. Okay, now this option is going to be in the negative. But what I believe will happen is that essentially over time, as the days go on towards the 18th, I think technically the market's going to rally back regardless whether it drops and it's going to come back up here. And I'm still going to be looking at potentially about 410 you know so even if even if it was at 410 by the 18th it would still be 126 dollars if it does it before and say it's at a, at the uh, 11th here you know potentially i'm looking at you know 500 707 dollars um, right here is what i'm you know kind of looking at as far as profit loss so I was just kind of looking at this, simulating it. So I just wanted to show you that. That's why I was looking at the 405. You know, for one, I'm not risking a, a huge amount of money, but it looks like, you know, I have a, a, a good chance of making a profit by the 18th. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. So for anybody who doesn't know, I'll just kind of walk through this and I'll hit continue. And then basically, you know, it gives you this. I'm going to hit one contract. And you can see this bid ask price. Um, you know, if you're willing to pay the max amount for this, it'd be at $3.72 currently. So I'm just going to type in $3.72 for now uh, to demonstrate this. And then I'm going to review the order. And basically it's saying you're paying $372.00 for the right to buy 100 shares of SPY for $405 per share by November 18th. If SPY shares aren't 405 or higher on November 18th, this option will expire worthless. So again, the max I can lose is this $372. Okay guys, so that has been submitted and I will uh, be checking on it on Monday morning, uh, depending on what futures uh, are doing. You know, I may I may change that. I may modify that. Um, but I just wanted to show you basically how to submit that call option and why I was picking the strike price I did and kind of the charts as far as what the simulation looks like, as far as profit potential and, um, you know, my trading view setup. Uh, on the weekly showing the buy signal and uh, you know if you guys like this video and you got something out of it uh, make sure you hit that like button also if you don't know how to close an option it, we know when you buy a call I have a good video and I'll put the link in the description below on it's a real quick video it just shows you how to buy a call and basically how to close it out so if you don't know how to close it out make sure you go in the description below and um, check that video out on how to buy a call and how to close it out. Also, guys, um, I see a lot of you guys haven't subscribed. Man, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit this hit the subscribe button. I want you guys subscribed. And uh, also, make sure to watch all of our videos.